time you run a red light at a major intersection in Modesto, you may get your picture snapped. The city is considering turning its red light cameras back on after they were shut off about a year ago. KCRA 3's Linda Muma has more. Drivers in Modesto are at a crossroads over whether the city should turn red light cameras back on. I think it's a way of trying to basically try to get some money, but uh, if, if it helps, then I'm all for it. Well, some believe the extra monitoring of left and right turns will make the streets more safe. It's a different time. When I grew up, people stopped. Now they people in, in such a hurry that you know they just will just keep on going. Others argue the tickets are too pricey at around $500, and if the city gives the cameras the green light, they'll be even more upset. Said because the new contract calls for expanded coverage of the intersection. When people get a call and the police need to go somewhere and handle business, that's good. But them watching us all the time, like Big Brother type situation, no? Modesto has had the cameras at four major intersections for about a decade after entering into a contract with Arizona based Red Flex Traffic Systems. But the cameras went dark about a year ago because of staffing issues at the police department. In the period of time that Red Flex was operational in our city, we had um, upward near of 16 officers strictly dedicated to traffic enforcement. Those are the motorcycle officers that go out and write tickets every day. Today, we have four officers. At the same time, Modesto Police Lieutenant Craig Gunlock says the number of collisions, injuries, and DUIs are going up. So while the cameras may cost about $3,500 a month each to operate. It is much more cost effective for us to have a red light camera at an intersection 24-7 than it is to hire a police officer to stay at that intersection and write tickets for red light violations. Gunlock believes the cameras will do more good than harm. It's not a revenue generating machine. What this is is a public safety issue and that's why we're, we're pushing for this. That was Linda Muma reporting. She says the cameras are supposed to be what they call revenue neutral, with the city collecting enough money from its share of the tickets to pay the company. The deal isn't final yet. Gunlock says the contract will go before the city council sometime in the next month or so.